Good morning, y'all, and welcome to Vlogtober Day 16. I know I look rough. <laughs> it is actually a little later in the day. I think it's already like 10.30 or 11, or close to 11 at least. And I'm barely getting out of bed. I just put Luna and Odin outside. I did wake up earlier. I have to take my medication at 6.30, or at least that's like when I take it. Um, because I'm normally awake at 6.30, both in the morning and in the evening. So even on days that I sleep in, I have to get up at that time. And actually, Odin and Luna had woken me up like right before that because they had to go out to go potty, but it was pouring rain. So they both like did this like run, pee like super quick, and then they like ran back inside. And Odin, all wet, decided to jump on the bed. And remember I mentioned that there's a bunch of clothes on the bed that I still haven't put away? Yeah, so I need to check and see what he destroyed and put away the rest of it. Um, but it was kind of a rough night. I couldn't fall asleep for a long time. The thunder picked back up and it was just storming really, really badly. It pretty much rained. I mean, it. I fell asleep, it was raining. I had to yawn. Uh, when I went to sleep, it was raining. And then when I woke up at 6.30, it was raining. Um, but now it's it seems to have passed. It's still really cloudy. Um, and it got cold outside. It's probably like in the high 60s, I'm assuming. I have I mean, I haven't checked the weather app, but um, it feels it feels really nice outside. it's it's really good. So for this morning, or what's left of it, really, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then I'm going to uh, just finish picking up around the house and then do something about myself, you know get ready, get dressed for the day, uh, shower and all that good stuff. Um, because Giovanna should be here in probably a couple of hours. So that'll be fun. I'll share with y'all what we end up doing. Um, uh, I know she wants to like do, um, I think she's bringing like face masks and stuff. So we're going to have like, you know, excuse me. I keep yawning as if I didn't well, I mean, I feel like I definitely slept enough because it's so late, but I don't really remember what time I ended up falling asleep. Um, but like I said, we're having a girl, or like I was trying to say, we're having a girl's night. Uh, and that should be, should be a lot of fun. I'm sad because I don't really get to talk to Luis today. Um, the place he went to, um, like for work, it's some kind of national facility of something or another, but it's like, um, I mean, he obviously can't just grab his phone whenever he wants. Um, so I'm like bummed out because I, I heard from him this morning. Um, he called me this morning, but that was it. I haven't heard from him. There, like he hasn't, I haven't, I thought I would have like a text message or something when I woke up, but I didn't. I know I'm super needy. It's okay to tell me it's all right. Anyway, I'm going to get my day started now. Hey y'all. And... I always say welcome back. I don't know why. I'm sorry. It's already pretty late. It is 9.49. I am currently chopping up some strawberries. I'm going to make a little dessert. Bestie is here. Say hi, Bestie. <laughs> uh, spending the night with me very kindly so that I wouldn't have to be alone since Lisa's away. Check out this mess that I've been making. Like I have... Like this is my mess. <laughs> like, yeah. Literally nothing. <laughs> and I've been like watercoloring and washing and oh yeah, also a nail popped off, so if you see that. It's um over there. <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> I'll pop that back on in a little bit. But look at this, look at this mess I have here. I've been watching I think I mentioned at some point that I was watching videos on like Hobonichi journaling. So I've been I made this today and I think it turned out so cute. Look at us. That's supposed to be us. And this is like marking Luis going on a business trip and I've just been like putting random stuff in here. It's just been fun. And we're watching, um, oh my goodness, we're, watching. <laughs> we're watching that R. Kelly thing on Netflix. I don't, yeah. I don't know, sure. we're both not sure if that was the right thing. Yeah, watch. I don't know. Definitely not. <laughs> Especially considering you brought Hocus Pocus and that's just like a much better option. Odin's up, obviously upset at somebody. Uh, hopefully there's not actually someone there. Um, so yeah, gonna make a good dessert, gonna mix some yogurt into this, and then top it off with a little bit of whipped cream and some pecans. It's gonna be delicious, I'll show y'all. Cause it's 
too much whipped cream. We have strawberries under there, I swear. <laughs> they're they're kind of like strawberries and cream made that with yogurt, um, Greek yogurt, and then a little bit of whipped cream. And we have, those are all sugar-free toppings. So that's very exciting. Very, very exciting. There's mine, because that's where I mixed it. That's gonna be us for the rest of the night I'll while we watch it. more creepy documentary stuff. So. You want some too, bubs? <laughs> he definitely wants some. He's not getting any. It has chocolate. You cannot has. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Hey y'all and good morning. It's, I don't know, it's Vlogtober. Probably 16th or 17th, I have no idea. I'll write it on the screen or something. Um, I realize how I look. It's really early. Oh. I mean, I don't think I looked any better yesterday, but it's super early in the morning. It's maybe like six, six something, maybe. Uh, Giovanna actually left a little while ago. Um, her uh, boyfriend came to pick her up because she wasn't feeling well. She actually got kind of sick overnight, which I feel so awful um, that she got sick. I'm like, what did I feed you that made you so sick? So I feel really bad, but... Um, she's home. She texted text me like a little bit ago. She's home and took some medicine. She's doing a little bit better. So hopefully she's okay throughout the day. Um, <clears throat> I did talk to Luis also a little bit ago. Um, he gets to have like a lucky day off. Uh, so the project that they went up, you know, that he's working on, they actually ended up like finishing the work that they had to do yesterday. <coughs> And so the company was like trying to fly them out today, but it would be like an extra, I think he said it was like an extra $300 a person to fly them out today. And so the company was like, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Like y'all can just stay there the extra day. Basically they had like a free day off. Um, so they're driving out him and like the few coworkers that he's with. They're driving out to the Grand Tetons, which is super exciting. Um, Grand Teton National Park. Um, so he's gonna get to see that. I already told him, I was like, send me lots of pictures. I'm like really happy for him that he gets to go there, but I'm also like really sad and jealous that I'm not there. So it is, you know, it is what it is, but I'm, I'm happy for him. Um, but um, I think I'm gonna go back to sleep. I don't really feel like being fully awake yet. And honestly, sleeping makes time go by faster, and that's kind of all I care about right now. <laughs> um, I have a lot of work to do, but I don't feel like being awake right now. So that's my morning so far, and it's only, like I said, <sighs> sorry, I keep yawning. I'm, I apologize. Um, yeah, it's like I said, it's it's too early for me. Um, so I'm gonna go back to sleep, and I will check back in with y'all. Hopefully, when I look a little more decent. Hey, y'all! I feel like I keep getting like sexier and sexier with each shot. <laughs> I know I look ridiculous. I am in my office. I have been just trying to get some work done and also edit some videos. I've been in the office like pretty much the whole day. I I don't even know when the last time I checked in. I think I just like checked in in the morning or morning, it was already like afternoon pretty sure um, because I slept in so late. Did I even check in? I'm, I'm hoping I did. I, I don't know, today has gone by so quickly which is great because Louise gets home tomorrow. So just one more sleep. I'm so happy about that. Um, it's already 11, did I mention that? Um, sorry, my brain is super scattered right now. I just got out of the shower, and I came back into the office because I want to schedule some uploads, um, because I think I have, like, two vlogs worth of, like, footage that I need to upload, because I don't think I've put a vlog up in the last couple of days, I just, my mind's just been somewhere else, y'all know I've been kind of in a down mood, I guess you could say. Um, but 
I need to schedule those and then probably get some more work done. I feel I feel like really like awake and I probably because I took the shower and just like woke me up um, but I just feel like and also because I slept in I feel like energized. Also I want to tell y'all so y'all know how I started doing that like art journaling thing and now like that's all I want to do and all I want to think about and all I want to spend money on. Go figure something new to spend money on right? Uh, well um I wanted to get more magazines because right now I'm only subscribed to one magazine and I like ripped them all apart the other night and I got a lot of like really cool like patterns and like texture looking things and just like really cool things like really interesting images to use as like backgrounds, backdrops. Um, so I was like oh I should sign up for like some more magazines you know that that would be a good way and a cheap way to get more um, papers basically and like unique you know it's not like a paper pack or it's something like that you know well I went on Groupon and they had I don't remember what magazine it was because I ended up signing up for one two three four five six seven eight nine did I count that right ten magazines wow I'm ridiculous <laughs> I'm absolutely ridiculous so anyway it was four dollars for like a year subscription right and so then I go onto like the website to claim the subscription because you have to redeem it and then it, it like makes you pay a dollar there. But then after you pay that dollar it is like you can sign up for other magazines for a whole like year or six months like it said on there like how long for only two bucks. So I was like I started clicking on a bunch of magazines. So I ended up paying like 20 bucks I think for everything. But I got 10 different magazine subscriptions which for like $20 for most of those it's like at least six months to a year that's a really good deal now I know like the scammy part of that is that like it's gonna auto renew so if I don't cancel it then I'm gonna end up with like all these charges you know once like the six months or a year or however long the subscription is so obviously I'll like deal with that make sure my like card is not accessible to them um, but I just thought it was so funny how I like got sucked into like all these magazines so let me tell you what I signed up for I, I wrote them down country living do I live in the country no do I want to live in the country yes therefore I got country living clean eating because you know diet life real simple I love that magazine I used to be subscribed to it for like a long time and I really like it good housekeeping because why not travel and leisure southern living I feel like whatever. Condé Nast, Cond I can't pronounce that, but it's like a travel magazine. Men's Health, which is for Luis, obviously. Uh, Wired, also probably for Luis, but I'm pretty sure I would enjoy that. And then Popular Science, also for Luis, but I feel like I would enjoy that. So like I got some stuff for that he would enjoy as well. So I felt like a little bit better about the fact that I decided to subscribe to all these random magazines. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so weird. I I'm so strange. Um, my office is kind of messy, but it's not too, too bad right now, which is great. The closet is bad. Don't look over there. Um, so yeah, I just, I think I'm just going to keep working. Maybe for like a few more hours and then go to sleep. And then when I wake up, it'll almost be time for Luis to be here. Yay. So anyway, I think I'm going to call it for tonight unless I feel like talking to y'all later but I'm pretty sure I'm combining yesterday today and tomorrow's vlog because I feel like I didn't get very much footage yesterday hardly anything today and I'm pretty sure because Luis is coming home I'm just gonna want to be like canoodling with him on the couch probably gonna just watch tv or something all day long that there's not gonna be very much like fun content but I think we're going somewhere Saturday so if we do then obviously y'all are coming with us and that'll be like an actual fun vlog to watch but anyway good night for now and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow bye everyone because you know lipstick smells amazing good morning y'all it is Friday the 18th <laughs> I really am like awful at this so vlogtober day 18 welcome look at me actually like dressed and with makeup on and
even Odin is surprised. <laughs> but Louis should be here very, very soon. So I wanted to, you know, try to look a little cute. Um, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy he's, he's um, back today. I know. I know. I'm super dramatic. I realize this. I'm very well aware of the situation. But I just... I miss him. <laughs> um, so he should be back pretty soon. I, I think he will probably be here within an hour or two at the most. Um, so I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Not really going to... I'm guessing you need to go outside. He needs to go out. So I'm going to put the kids out. And then just tidy up a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not like too, too bad, but my planner stuff exploded everywhere, so I need to pick that up. Um, so I, and then I don't know what we're gonna do today. I have no idea. Uh, we are probably gonna go to the movies, I'm assuming. I think he wanted to go. Uh, and I mean, we can go whenever now because of that past thing. So um, I think we're probably gonna end up doing that. And then, um, I'm assuming he's going to want to go to the park to go fly. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm just, I'm just happy. I can't wait for him to get here. It was like, yes, I get it, Odin. We, we all understand. You want to go outside. Um, it, it, he barely made his like connection. Um, they had them like, you know, whenever the, is it, they called like taxi, like whenever they just kind of stall out in the. Um, on the runway for a while and he said like oh like I'm still not out he was texting me and he's like I'm still not off this plane and I'm supposed to be in my next plane in about 15 minutes so I was sure he was gonna miss it but um, he said the gate was like right next to the gate where he came out of so it was like perfect so he didn't end up missing it I'm so so glad thank god because I would have been so sad um but yeah, he should be home very, very soon. So anyway, I'm going to take this fool out because obviously he's a... Uh, sorry, that's my leg. I'm wearing a dress in case anybody's like, is she naked? No, I'm not naked. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Later. I don't know what that was. Later. Hey, y'all. So Luis just called me. He is on his way home. He just landed here in San Antonio. Oh, I'm so happy. I know I'm ridiculous. I know, I know, I know that I'm ridiculous, but I'm so incredibly excited to see him. I've missed him so, so much. Bad news though, Odin is sick. Y'all saw earlier how he was like asking to go out and he usually doesn't ask like that badly. Like they're super like, we'll go whenever. Like it's really rare that they'll ask like how he was begging to go out. Um, and I had just taken him out a couple of hours ago, so I, I did think it was weird, but I, I wasn't like, I don't know, I wasn't like really thinking about it. Yes, there's, it's full of dishes back there, don't look. <laughs> but, yeah, he threw up. He, um, threw up on the new rug. Well, it's not new I, at this point, I guess it's already a few months old, but he threw up on the rug in the bedroom, of course. But... Fun fact, I have shown y'all that um, carpet cleaner that we got a while back, like when we first moved into this house, which I love, I love, I love, I love. It's like one of those like pet vacuum things, but it's like with actual, like it cleans like with water and soap, it like scrubs the carpets or rugs or whatever. That stuff is amazing. It like cleans up everything. It's so good. But he threw up like, by the way, if this is gross, I'm really sorry. The way or how he threw up was like right under the bed, like right where the edge of the rug is. So I couldn't get to it with the machine, but I have this stuff from the Dollar Tree. This is called LA's Totally Awesome. One of y'all recommended this to me um, on Instagram, actually. I had put, like I'd asked um, what a good cleaner was because I was trying to get some stains out of the carpet literally a dollar y'all and this cleans up so much stuff now this did not take off those like old stains that did it just like squirt out did that just land in my hair I thought I saw something but maybe I'm just seeing things 
Sorry for the extreme close-up, y'all. Again, short arms. Um, but anyway, I had asked like for something that did not take away those like old stains that were on the carpets here. But those were like, I mean, I tried basically everything. They would not come up. However, I have had lipstick fall on my like rug, like that like liquid lipstick um, on that like gray rug that I have here in the living room. It's like super light color, red liquid lipstick and this picked it up like nothing like nothing it was amazing i thought for sure it was gonna be you know like that i was gonna like try to rub into it and like the red was just gonna spread everywhere love this stuff a buck dollar tree go get it you need it and it just cleaned up all of the stains from odin's bile Ding! <laughs> look who's home so excited He's covering cold. himself so that, he, so that he can hide from Odin, who's currently outside. I'm going to bring him in. So he's hiding. You know he's going to injure you, right? He's going to hurt you. Okay, okay I'm putting the, putting the camera down for a sec. And let him in. Wait. <laughs> He's looking. I just want to point out that that's about how excited I was. <laughs> He's over you. <laughs> no, careful. <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful with Luna. It's okay, honey. You'll get a turn in a minute. Oh my goodness. Look at him pulling out his toy. He's so ready to play. That's about how, how I was, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, not only am I super excited because Luis is home, but I also got this in the mail. So, so quick. <laughs> Luis is saying he brought it all the way from Idaho. If you don't know, Foxy Fix, their like home base uh, or their like office or whatever it is, it's, it's in Idaho. So, um, but I'm so excited because I actually just ordered this. I feel like I just ordered this maybe like a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago. <laughs> you brought me a keychain. <laughs> so oh, I can turn one into a magnet. I collect magnets in case anybody's wondering. It was a regional airport. It was in a big airport. Oh. Hey y'all, so it's a few hours later and it's actually already 8.30 at night. We ended up going to the movies. Um, Luis was really hungry and I hadn't made um, lunch or anything. And we were like, oh, well, let's go to the movies and we'll just have lunch there, which is always like an awful idea because the food there is so expensive. <laughs> but that's what we did anyway. We went to see the Adams Family, which I'll admit I fell asleep for like the last 10, maybe 15 minutes or so. No shame, y'all. I fall asleep at the movies all the time. I also have a hair. Do you see it? There's like something. I don't know. Anyway, um, and then we came home and then we both took a nap <laughs> and we just woke up a little bit ago. Uh, Luis is in his room getting his like airplane things ready and I'm probably going to sit here and journal for a little bit. <sighs> y'all, y'all know the Foxy Fix box I showed y'all? I didn't, I filmed an unboxing, but I contacted, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do like in the video. I don't know if I'm going to post it, but... It has like a really big crease kind of running like throughout the whole planner or the whole cover 
and I don't know, it kind of bugs me, like, I was like, oh, well, you know, they, they age anyway, so, like, why, like, why should I care? But then I'm like, I'm also paying a hundred bucks for, like, a slab of leather, you know? So, I don't know. I contacted their customer service and see, um, just see what they say, um, see if I can, like, maybe exchange it or... I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like mm, about it, which sucks because I was like super excited about it. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to call it a night for this vlog so that maybe I can actually don't think I'm going to edit tonight. Um, so y'all probably won't see another vlog until like Monday, probably. But yeah, I am good now. This is home. I'm happy. And we're going to call it a night. Good night, y'all. Hey y'all and welcome back to Vlogtober. It is Vlogtober day 19. I'm with my bunny. My, my bunny. Okay, bunny. I, I was going to say honey. I was going to say honey bunny and then just like bunny. No, no bunny. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, but we are on our way to a place called Love Bikes Creek. <laughs> I think the wind or like the, the air is hitting the camera so I apologize. If you heard that, um, I think it's called Love Creek Orchard. It's about an hour away. We're like super late. We're probably only gonna be there for a few hours, but that's totally fine because I don't really think we wanna really walk around that much. It's kind of warm. It's like, right now it's low 80s, but I'm sure it'll still warm up a bit. Um, but it's it's um, an orchard, but right now they have it like set up as a pumpkin patch. So I'm excited to go. I don't think we've been to a pumpkin patch together, have we? I've never been to one. Yeah, so we haven't been to one together. So this will be our first pumpkin patch experience. I'm very excited. Um, of course, there's like tons of traffic, but maybe I'll show y'all once we're out of the city um, because I think it is like a, a pretty drive through the hill country. But anyway, I'll see y'all there. A little maze, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's for the kids. Yeah. Damn, babe, we need kids. <laughs> they really need to have like a rent a kid service. <laughs> We've discussed this before. <laughs> for couples without kids that want to do kid things. Like my cousin that wanted yeah. to go to that movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes we, you know, get embarrassed to go to kids' movies or kids' things. It's cute though. Where are the apples? Yeah, I don't know about this orchard thing. Um, I feel lied to. 
Maybe. Oh look, there's like a petting zoo or something. Yeah, that's not the cotton, cotton candy. candy. Yeah. This is pure sugar. Yeah. I think I just gained 20. Hey, buddy. He seems uninterested in me. His name is Igor. Igor? Mm -hmm. Why does it say that? I don't know, he looks like an Igor to me. Oh, you just named him Igor, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hello, Igor. I thought you were reading that somewhere. <laughs> no, he just looks like an Igor to me. He's so cute. Can you be my friend? Because it's Texas and it's hot. <laughs> Hi. He's like, oh, wow. what years? <laughs> totally not interested. Mama. We've been warned that the pig is a jerk. Hmm? <laughs> I'm saying that we've been warned that the pig is a jerk. <laughs> and he's biting people. Piggy! Piggy! Poor babies, it's so hot. Do you want to go in there or what? <laughs> There's no one. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna be judged. <laughs> Look, the entrance is like too low. We can't even get in there. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Look at these weird ones, y'all. They're one. like the special. Yeah. And that one, too. Oh, I thought that was two. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's like a few of them. Look. Yeah. It almost looks like a little like plant growing in like a little vase, like a little succulent or something yeah that's so cool that looks weird that's the weirdest looking one there's another one right there yeah. it's cool i wonder if those are edible i don't know but i don't think i would want to try it <laughs> so that's it y'all we have not been here very long and that's basically it let's say maybe what 10 20 minutes no we've been here maybe like 30 40 minutes um but definitely, I mean, if you have kids, it would be more fun. That petting zoo area, there's like part of it there. And then the other, like you see that building back there. That was the little semi petting zoo with the depressed llama. And the very hot goat that I felt very bad for. Poor baby. Um, they have some food over here, which we're not going to eat here. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> Who wrote Some it? stuff over here, I guess. Who wrote it? I don't know. Not me, though. So we are now in Bandera, Texas. In a little, like, downtown area. Oh, the general store. Yeah. Should go look. Yeah. We came here, or we're stopping here for lunch. Yeah, but that one's a little out of the budget. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Let's go to the cowboy store. Play little armadillos. Oh. Odin would be barking at them. Yeah. <laughs> the Bender Halloween. Yeah. I don't know any of these names. Uh, do I? Maybe it's like country people? Maybe. Is there any famous people from Bender? I have no idea. I filmed this amazing gourmet salad. <laughs> there's more heads, y'all. Everywhere we go around here, there's heads. It's kind of terrifying. You wanna go somewhere else? City Park. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Y'all, this store was made for me. Pickle, pickle. Not because I'm pickle. <laughs> because I love pickles. So good. No, there's no point in going in there. Because you hate pickles. Story time, 
built in 1870. Cool. Greece hates pickles. I love pickles. I need that sign. Boo, y'all. Wait. I say we wait here. Why? In the shade. Oh, yeah. These trees are beautiful. Cool. Those trees. Uh, I don't know what these are. These might just be like oaks, live oaks. And um, those are cypress trees over there. But those are the ones. Remember, like we had someone say that those are the ones that like naturally grow by the water here. Yeah, it was on the river boat. Yeah. Um, this looks very slopey. I feel like I'm gonna slip and fall. Slip and tumble. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? Sure. Just don't step on that track like I did. Look at this over there. Or geese, I don't know. Yeah, I think those are geese. It's so pretty here. Like you said, it's so peaceful. Mine is the children. Huh? Mine is the children. <laughs> look. Oh, look, get in that tree, babe. You get in the tree? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it. Look, someone's sock. Oh, no, it's cap. a cap. 
There you go for your cap collection. Wait, give me your phone so I can take a picture. Oh, look, there's like little fish, yeah. Water's clear. Yeah, so pretty. Look at these beautiful trees. I love trees, y'all. I have a thing for trees. Look at the little monarch butterfly. Oh, 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 oh I wanted to take a picture. I scared it. Here, you take a picture of me. The butterfly? Trying not to fall. Oh, there's little fishies. Okay, I'm gonna go into the tree trunk. Oh, do you see the fishies? So cute. Man, it's so pretty here. I guess this must be Medina River. I love these trees. They're so beautiful. I love these trees coming out of the water. This is the Medina River. Medina? Was it right? Yep. Right. Dang. Look at me go. <laughs> Come here so we can take selfies. A big old tree. The what? Yeah. You wanna jump in, babe? That looks sketchy. There's a bunch of ropes over here too. Oh yeah. Kinda yeah. These trees just out here chilling in the middle of the river. <laughs> That's crazy though, because like water is real low right now. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like it's very low here. Mm -hmm. Look, Chicharra. Right here. Oh. Right there. Oh, run, run, run. <laughs> that the sound you hear, those are called. Chichar, what, is it, what are they called in English? Cicadia? Cicadas? Baby, you have something like all over your face. Where? I, on this side, other side. Where? Yeah, it's like black smudge, like a weird black. That was weird. So, in case you don't know what a cicada, I don't know if that's the right word in English, y'all. That's those little boogers right there. I don't want to get too close because they're freaking terrifying. not doing a very good job at focusing on that I'm sorry cicadas C cicadas somebody tell me how to pronounce that um, but in Spanish they're called chicharras and that's what I know them as look at that tree that's beautiful too what does it say Yeah. I mean, of course, some person did it. But well, obviously, <laughs> yeah. So but then, like the artist's yeah. signature. That does That's this. pretty cool. Burn from the inside. Look at it. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Super thin. Do you see like how it's cut out right there? Yeah. That's crazy. Cool. Or maybe they're just looking for food. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I don't think they come up on the camera, but there's tons of uh... Oh man, I don't know that word in English either. 
No, they're not crows. Sparrows? No, definitely not sparrows. Uh, Those ones that eat dead stuff. Gangers. Man, we like really suck at English. <sighs> Scavengers? I don't think that's the name of a bird. <laughs> oh, no, that's definitely not the name of a bird. They're... This looks cool too. They have the cool little armadillo. They're carcass eating birds. Okay, y'all, we need help with another English word. In Spanish, those are sopilotes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing the extraordinary yeah, hour? I'm gonna like mean? stare blankly at the screen. <laughs> Man, I, I really don't know the name of them. And like, I feel like I do know it, but I just can't think of it. Okay, Google Let me to Google. the rescue. Let me, uh... It might take a little bit. So in case anybody does not know, English is not my first language, and it's also not Luis's first language. We're both native Spanish speakers. Uh, I've known English though since I was pretty young. And... Vultures? Vultures? Vultures. And I feel like I primarily speak English. I, I feel like my English is better. I've known this. Yeah, no, I know that word too, now that you say it. <laughs> uh, I definitely feel like my English is actually better than my Spanish nowadays, which isn't a comforting thing considering I can't think of words, but you know, <laughs> sometimes words fail in one language and then you can think of them in another. That's like the good thing about being bilingual. Yeah. Hey y'all, guess where we are? Three guesses. Three? You're right, you got it. Three guesses? <laughs> As in like you get three tries? Like it's just like a thing. <laughs> um, we're at the park. Luis is gonna fly his drone. So the little town we were at was called Bandera. I'm pretty sure we mentioned that at some point or you saw it at least. Um, that was maybe about an hour or so away from where we are now, which is close to semi close to home. Um, but we are thinking about playing that like game the like murder mystery solving game that i had shown a while back so i think we're gonna go home and do that we only have maybe like 30 minutes if that left of sunlight here for luis to fly his plane and then he's gonna fly the drone because last time we were here i don't think i talked about it but okay so we're sitting in this field right like this is the highway <laughs> this is just like a random field and then the park like the actual park is behind us um, but there's this little tiny like entrance to this area so this is not a park like this is just like some random field that we come hang out in which who knows if we're like even allowed to be here but we haven't gotten kicked out yet uh, but anyway there is a, a guy that walked in like, he came through the little opening and he was carrying two balloons like one said like you're number one like you know, like those like motivational type balloons. And he was carrying a little box and he started walking like down the field. And I was thinking that maybe he was like, um, gonna go surprise somebody because Luis said there's like another entrance to the actual park part, like on the back. But he just went and sat on one of these like hay things. I don't know what they're called. Um, bales? No, I don't know, those round things. He, like, all the way at the end of the field over there, like, he went and sat over, where's my finger, over there, somewhere, and we could just see the balloons. I'm gonna fly my plane over there, see if I see anything. Okay. Um, we could just see, like, the balloons, like, he was just sitting there, there's nobody else there, so he just took the balloons and, like, sat there, and we thought it was so strange, because... That's just like a weird thing to do, right? So we're like, maybe like, he has like a little hangout over there. And, and like, I was thinking maybe it's someone that's like homeless and maybe that's where they go. But he didn't, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So we want to go explore, but we don't want to walk all the way over there because we're lazy. Well, babe? I said I'm at the little mountain. I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, so he's gonna fly the drone to see if there's like anything back there. Hey y'all, 
y'all and good morning. Welcome to Vlogtober day 20. Uh, it is lazy Sunday morning, although it's barely morning. As you can see, we have like two more minutes of morning left. Uh, and I just took this bad boy out of the oven. This is the like cauliflower kind of pizza. It's still high in carbs. It's still high in calories. Like it's not like it's oh, it's like super healthy or anything. But you know, it's at least a little bit better than normal pizza would be. So we are gonna have that for lunch and then we are probably gonna head to the park uh, in a little while. Actually, I have to get some work done. Luis has to get some work done. And because we don't wanna be like super stuck in the sun, we'll probably go to the park a little bit later, but I'm not sure. I wanted to give y'all another peek at this thing. I have been having so much fun with this thing. It's like junk journaling. So you just put basically anything in there and pictures and random pieces of paper and pieces of like magazines and I don't know, but I've just been having so, so, so much fun with that. Ended up doing that last night. I don't know if I signed off last night. I don't think I did, right? Luis is here. Say good morning, babe. Good morning. <laughs> Even though it's barely morning. Um, but we were, maybe I did. I don't remember, but we just, uh, we watched some Netflix here, uh, <laughs> like we were watching on my iPad while I, like, played with journaling stuff, and Louise was on the computer, like, everything's still out here, uh, but it was, it was good, it was a fun night, uh, but anyway, we're gonna eat, and we'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Are you sure that's going to work? I don't know. It's just like sticking twigs into this other plane. By the way, Luna and Odin are with us today. Luna won't run off too far. This dude we have to keep on a leash because he's not nice. And Luis is gonna try to play this cardboard thing. And I'm trying to unravel myself. Oh, no. So we're at the park again. As per usual. We're back home and look what came in the mail. This big old giant box. It's huge. I was not expecting a huge box like this. But this is my David's Tea advent calendar. Oh, that little like, <laughs> it's not even like holding it close. Luna, what what is going on? What is she growling at? I don't know. A lot of this bubble stuff. This is Fireside Mocha. So I got this. Um, this one was like on super sale. So I just got like a little. I think this was a two ounce packet. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. Um, that'll last you a while. But I wanted to just try it and um, just spend a little extra. <laughs> Mostly um, because I was trying to get free shipping. And then also because. Um, I wanted to have something like before I actually dug into the advent calendar. So I'm not going to obviously open the advent calendar. Okay, hold on. Let me get it out. So this is what it looks like. I am going to just like open this part of it. Oh, sorry. I just knocked you off. Oh, I don't know if I can open. Dang, Nabby. <laughs> There's like tea. Okay, hold okay. on again. I think now. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Cute. So obviously the little pouches come in here with the tea and you open one each day. Um, it does say that there is enough to make two cups um, in each little packet. So let's see. Not that thick. Don't want to open them because I don't want to like see what's in there. But um, I do love that they're like, oh sorry, that they're like scattered. Just like one, two, and I don't know where the three is, but I think that's super cute. I love this. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for December. Hey y'all, so it is 8.17. Uh, we are actually about to head to the gym and I'm going to call it a night here. So we're just going to go for a little bit, come back and probably shower and go to bed. Oh, look at this sexy clip in my hair right now. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for hanging out with us this weekend i will catch y'all tomorrow
Hey y'all and welcome to Vlogtober Day 21. We're looking at my computer to see what day it is. It is a Monday, so start of a new work week. I am in the office as you can see behind me and I am, well I'm sure you can, maybe you can hear the printer going, uh, but I'm actually working on packing up some orders that I need to get dropped off today. And I totally forgot to check in with y'all. It's already like 2, p 2 p.m., 2.15. I can't see, I don't have my glasses, but I think it's around two, or a little past two, and just been here in the office for, I don't know, probably at least five-ish hours or so since I decided to like peel myself out of bed. I didn't sleep well last night at all, so I decided to like go back to sleep after Luis left this morning, um, just to, you know, see if I could feel a little bit better, because I've been dealing with a little bit of a, a headache, um, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so it's probably going to be a super boring day. I doubt today will be its own vlog. I'm pretty sure it'll get combined into the next couple of days. I was like thinking about this whole vlog miss or vlogtober thing. And then because the goal is to do vlog miss. So I wanted to like practice, I guess. Um, but I feel like it's just really unrealistic. I mean, at, we're at day 21 and I love, love sharing the weekends with y'all or, you know, like days where um, I feel like I'm doing something exciting, but most of my days are cleaning and cutting stickers. Like, that's just the reality of my life. Like, it's not, I'm not an exciting person. <laughs> um, like, the most exciting things we do on you know, with like, kind of like plain days is sometimes go to the park. Like, that's it. Um, we might go to the park today. We, um, I need to go to the post office. I need to check my P.O. box. Um, I need to drop off some orders. We're probably going to go to the park and we need to go to the gym today. Um, but just I feel like it's been it's it's a little mundane so I'm thinking I don't think vlogmas is gonna happen I'm pretty sure um, I'm just gonna keep sorry if I'm shaking my my leg shakes like randomly all of the time <laughs> like I just I don't know my leg is very shaky you know when you get like in certain like positions where your leg just like won't stop shaking that's how I am right now so I'm sorry um so anyway I was thinking about for vlogmas to just do like vlogmas weekends <laughs> um so I think I'm just going to be sharing kind of you know days where we're doing things where we're out and about and then maybe I can throw in like here or there um like a normal day in the life type of video um because I just I don't I feel like it's not very exciting and I'm sorry about that but anyway, I'm just going to keep working for the foreseeable future until Luis gets home. I'm not really making dinner tonight. We're just going to have leftovers of, I don't know if I mentioned, but yesterday, uh, last night, I made um, a seven layer dip kind of thing. It's not really even the full seven layers because I didn't have some of the stuff, but it's basically like a dip thing. Luis loves that stuff. Um, it's like one of his favorite things to eat, so I make it every once in a while. Um, but we had plenty of leftovers of that, so we'll have that tonight. Um, so I'm just here, just literally here, watching journaling videos and thinking of more things to add to my Amazon cart. It's a problem, but I'm so excited, and I, I'm actually really considering uh, sharing some of them. I've been thinking, I mean, I don't, I, I know that I'm not going to want to, like, always share journal with me type videos because it's something that's really like fun and relaxing but I think I could do maybe like a couple of times a month where I share uh, a peek into my journal um, because it's just so so much fun to just like be junk journaling basically um but anyway I will talk more about that in another video at some point for now I'm gonna keep working and I'll catch up with y'all in a little while Logan from the park. This jerk, we think. Not me. <laughs> yeah, not Luis. <laughs> we think he just ate a stick, a like large piece of stick. We're not sure. We're hoping we're wrong. I feel like we need like 
another job just to pay for his vet bills all the time. And you put a mess on it. <laughs> yeah. Like a cage or something. Yeah. Oh, now I'm worried. But we're at the park. I brought my journal thing. Luis. Yeah, babe. Has his planes. He's working on flying that one, and he has another one over there in that little park. Odin's barking because being a jerk. there's uh, right above these little tree bush things, there are some kids that are playing like what is it baseball or something? It's like a it looks like a little like a practice. So we're that's why we're in our empty field. Look at the the one I said wouldn't go missing. Look at her. All the way over there. Luna! She's the one that she's, she's not even looking this way. Uh, I literally looking. give up. I give up with these kids. Come back here. Come here. She's not even moving. Do y'all see her? Oh, she's kind of coming back. I don't know if y'all can see her. But anyway, we're in the park. Like I said, our life is not exciting. <laughs> this is about it. But we'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, it's Vlogtober. I don't know. I have no idea. Day 21 or 22 or something. Um, I'm in bed. It is 8 p.m. I've been in bed the entire day. Um, I woke up this morning, you know, normal. Went to the restroom. When I went to the restroom, I my face was like completely pale. I almost passed out. Um, I felt like I was about to faint and I, I could not even walk like I didn't even think I was gonna make it back into bed um, came back I did get back into bed though uh, woke up Luis and you know told him I wasn't feeling well and I was you know it was just like just rest and then during the day I I got a fever um, so I've been in bed with a fever all day. The fever did break a little while ago, uh, maybe like an hour or two ago. So I started feeling a little bit better, um, but I just, I, I can't, I can barely even move right now. So I have just have no energy. Um, so I'm just gonna tack this on to whatever yesterday was, like whatever vlog. Sorry. I've been asleep all day. I don't know how I'm yawning. I've literally been in and out of sleep all day long. All day. Like, all day. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. I don't have, like, a cold or anything. Um, so, I'm not sure what my body's trying to fight off. But, um, just wanted to check in. I don't think I'll even pick up the camera tomorrow to be honest um, but uh, I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm sick so I will hopefully talk to y'all in a couple of days um, just gonna try to get some rest um, and see if if I feel good so anyway bye everyone thank you for watching